Well, a sugarcane disease known as ratoon stunting disease can retard the growth of the cane crop by choking off its water supply. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine shows us, scientists at the LSU Ag Center need help from the sugar community to keep this disease from further impacting the state's third largest cash crop. LSU Ag Center plant pathologist Jeff Hoy looks for a stalk with the right stuff. The bacteria are located again in the water vessels that run in little clusters called vascular bundles in the stalk. The bacteria he's talking about is Ratoon Stunting Disease, or RSD. The disease stunts the growth of sugarcane by choking its water supply, which ultimately results in reduced yields. It, would, it can reduce the yield, you know, by a third because the plants are, are shorter. And again, that affects your subsequent crop in, the, in the additional years. So the impact can be quite severe in the susceptible variety. At one time, RSD took its toll on the state's sugar industry. Because farmers may harvest several crops of sugar from one planting, Professor Hoy wants sugar producers across the state to send in samples of their fall crop to prevent a rebound of the disease. 30 stalks, say 15 across each end of a field, and then they cut off and send us the or bring in the lowest intact, they call it a joint, with the two nodes and the inner node in between. So below the cane knife blade there, that's all we need. RSD can inundate a sugarcane field like this one during grinding season. As each stalk is cut, the bacteria spread from plant to plant. It doesn't grow. That's the biggest thing. It, it's just stunted. Ascension Paris sugarcane producer Warren Harang remembers the bad old days okay. of RSD. He says vigilant testing keeps the disease out of his 2,100 acres of sugarcane. We don't want to have any immunity involved, any of, the, any of the past research. We want to be sure that we current, that we stay on tap, and that we always watch out for anything that may be coming down the pipe. Professor Hoy says testing now will protect farmers from higher input costs in the future. Finally gotten it under control, but the fact that you don't know where it is means that it can persist and start to build up again. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. In St. Gabriel, I'm AJ Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. If you're a sugar grower and want a sample of your cane tested, you can drop off stalks at either the St. Gabriel Sugar Research Station or the Cooperative Extension Office in West Baton Rouge. For more information about ratoon stunting disease, you can log on to our website at twilatv.org.